Hey yo, what's going guys, over here, and today we're going to be looking at the McLaren 650S Spider inside of Well Southwest Florida. We're going to be looking at this car and everything about it in today's video and showing you guys why it's really, really good. So I'm going to be showing you guys its top speed, its acceleration, its interior, its convertible ability, its top speed with upgrades, top speed without upgrades, its stock top speed, pretty much just everything about this car because this car is really, really good and I want to show it to you guys in today's video. Now before we get into that, I want to let you guys know a few things. First things first, my name is Hyper, I do car views, car things, all car stuff figures. Do like this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications every time I upload a new video. Also, um, if we hit 5,000 subscribers by the end of this year, I'll be doing an IRL car review on my real live car. So if we are literally only 400 subs away, we can smash that by the end of this year. I know that for sure. So if you guys aren't subscribed, hit that subscribe button because we are really close to hitting our goal. Second thing is, I got a Roblox group with Roblox merch. If you're interested in buying some Roblox merch, and or join the Roblox group because why not? It is a really cool place to be. Also, I got a Discord group you can join if you want to suggest car builds, car views, car ideas, and anything car related. I also have uh, some socials you can follow as well if you want to follow those. Also, my Discord, you can talk to me because I'm always in there. And uh, yeah, why don't we get into this McLaren 650S car review? Now, my, my computer's a little loud and I'm going to hope it doesn't go loud again in this video. But yeah, let's go on down to the 2016 McLaren <laughs> 650S Spider, $150,000. I don't like McFerrin. Come on now. If you don't want to avoid copyright, there could have been a whole other name for that. I don't know. Mc McGarren? I don't, I don't know. Anyways, let's take a look at this car. So, looking at the car, it looks like a typical, I don't know, the front gives you P1 vibes, the back gives you like a whole other car, you know? It's pretty much like the same as pretty much every other car in this update. It looks pretty much visually almost the same. But I mean, just take a walk around for you guys so you guys can see that. Now, why don't we get into the car? And why don't we do our, oh my god, okay, okay, let's just put parking brake on. Okay, so why don't we do a startup and listen to the car and it turning on. Alright, so the car turning on is pretty, pretty good, the startup is pretty nice. Why don't we do a rev test? Alright, so this car does spit flames, for those of you who like cars that spit flames, because a lot of you have asked me for cars that spit flames, this will be one of them. Uh, it, has it has blinkers along the back right there, no mirror blinkers, and it has a little C right there. My computer is becoming loud again, so I'm going to hopefully try to drown that out. Anyways, we have the circle right here, we have this semi-square thing right there, and with the two lines back there. Now why don't we go into first, actually yeah, let's go into first person, check out the interior really quickly. So as you can tell, the interior looks really nice. It's designed as opposed to some of the other cars in the game, um, actually majority of the other cars in this game. So you are getting lucky if you buy this $150,000 masterpiece because you get a car with an interior. Who doesn't want that? Now that we've taken a quick glance at this interior, why don't we go on the outside really quick and show you guys the, well, convertible because it is a convertible after all so windows go down pretty quickly as you can tell it also goes it has two little pieces for the roof it's pretty cool and then the back end opens it actually goes down fairly quickly also kind of seems slow but i mean it's pretty pretty cool overall okay so now that we've done the blinkers the turning and not the turning the headlights the blinkers the horn which we didn't actually do the convertible part why don't we get to the fun part and why don't we get this car going onto the street and do ourselves a top speed test. So, right now this car is fully upgraded with full gearing and everything. So, what we're going to do is we're going to launch this car all the way down to the end of that road. And then we're going to come back to the dealership and I'll show you guys the car's stock top speed. The stock, uh, not the stock, uh, the stock upgraded no gearing and upgraded with gearing top speed. Because there is there's a few things you could do to the car. And I'm going to show you guys those and pretty much everything about it. So, let's turn track control off. Let's turn semi-automatic. Let's launch the car and go. So off the line we have fast acceleration this car is incredibly quick off the line and uh with the certain drive terrain that i have on it it is insane so as you can see we're already in seventh gear there's only seven gears and we're going 215 217 220 almost we're still climbing 221 222 223 there it is 224 we just saw that one flash we're gonna keep we're gonna keep going though we're gonna hit 225 in this thing i'm pretty sure but yeah, this car goes pretty, pretty fast for a $150,000 car, a $150,000 supercar. Then you obviously could find cars for a lot cheaper that, um, that go a lot quicker. But hey, I mean, this thing has an interior. This thing has a drop top. It is pretty, pretty nice if you ask me. Now, why don't we go back toward the dealership and when we do a quick brake test as well as a quick turn test, then we'll go into the dealership 
and I'll show you guys the, what's it called, everything, like the tuning, and pretty much everything I did to the car, and it does the other speeds for the car's stock and upgraded with no gearing. So, let's take a quick turn into here to show you guys the turning. The turning in this car is actually really, really nice. Um, if only I could turn and, you know, time things better, because my computer's getting loud and I started focusing on that. But yeah, no, the turning in this car is really good. I can't really demonstrate it all too well, since I'm, like, probably the worst driver to ever, you know, live. But, uh, I mean, the car is really good. Braking on this car is also pretty good as well. It'll just kind of, like, break here. It's not going to hit this wall, hopefully. Nope. Okay, cool. Anyways, braking is good. Turning is good. Upgraded with gearing. This car goes 225. Turning is good. Braking is good. It is a really good car when it comes to upgraded and gearing. So, why don't we go through and talk about the stock top speed. So, the stock top speed is 203 miles an hour. The braking is pretty good. And the turning is pretty good. Just don't hit the gas when you're turning or you're going to, you're going to, like, slide. So, that's kind of, like, what you got to watch out for. Second thing is, upgraded with no gearing. And I'll show you guys upgraded with no gearing right now. So, upgraded with no gearing, rear-wheel drive. So, this car comes stock in rear-wheel drive. So, this upgraded no gearing is for, well, uh, with only rear-wheel drive. So, upgraded with no gearing, we have stage 3 engine, we have stage 2 turbocharging, race brakes, race rate reduction, we have grip tires, we have race transmission, no suspension, no wheel width, but we do have a drivetrain change, so all-wheel drive, and that's pretty much it. That is, that is upgraded, no gearing. So there's a drivetrain change, and we have all the basic upgrades you can have on a car. Now that was rear-wheel drive. The same thing applies to all-wheel drive. You're going to have all the same things up till transmission, then you're going to go to drivetrain, and then you're going to switch that to all-wheel drive. And that's pretty much the difference between those two. But upgraded no gearing with rear wheel drive goes 220 miles an hour. The braking is still pretty good. And turning is pretty it's slightly better than the stock turning. And you'll still slide if you hit the gas or turn. So just don't hit the gas when turning with an upgraded with no gearing wheel wheel drive car. Now upgraded with no gearing, all wheel drive. This car goes 221 miles an hour, so one mile on quicker than the rear-wheel drive version. Uh, rear-wheel drive uh, upgraded, no gearing. So upgraded with gearing and all-wheel drive goes 221. This car goes super fast off the line, if you guys could tell when we did the launch test earlier in the video. Braking is still very good, and turning is incredibly good. It's so much better than the rear-wheel drive. It's so much better than the stock turning. It's pretty, pretty good, if you ask me. Now... When it comes to upgraded with gearing all-wheel drive, because I didn't do the rear-wheel drive, I chose all-wheel drive for the upgrade with no gearing because the all-wheel drive is so much better on this car than rear-wheel drive. Um, it goes 225, as you guys could tell, and everything is still really good on the car. It's actually a lot better uh, than pretty much everything else I just mentioned. So, so, upgraded with gearing includes engine, which is stage 3, turbocharging, race brakes, rate reduction, grip tires, Race transmission, no suspension, no wheel width, no drivetrain, no gear, no differential, no steering. We do have a gearing change to 3.776, which is actually a pretty good gearing, to be honest. It gives you a little bit more room to hit a better top speed. And then also kind of like lets you hit a top speed with a little bit more room, just in case you really wanted to like have some more room, just in case you find it a longer road or something like that. But yeah, that's pretty much what I did to the car. That's pretty much the car review. Hopefully, it was kind of understandable. I know at the end there, I started getting a little mum, like a little jumbo -y. But hopefully, it made sense to you guys. If you guys did like this car review, hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell for notification every time I upload a new video. If you guys want to see any other car reviews, car builds, car ideas, anything like that, let me know in the comments below. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, we hit 5,000 subscribers by the end of this year. If you weren't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys later. Good. Bye.